knock neighbors hello survivors welcome to the video I am going to be talking about knock neighbors if you are an empath or codependent it is highly likely that you have come into contact with a knock neighbor Narc neighbors like to make themselves known. They want to be seen and heard. They want to feel powerful and in control of the environment. However, this is very conflicting with how they feel on the inside. Narcissists do not feel seen or heard. They do not see or hear themselves. They do not feel powerful or in control of the environment. They don't even feel in control of themselves. So now they have to use all of these bizarre behaviors to compensate for that. They shout, make noise, or whatever else will give them the attention they need. They want to be seen and heard. But because they are narcissists or narcissistic, they feel weak and powerless. To compensate for that, they will enforce fly monkeys and create gangs or groups. It makes them feel more powerful and in control of the environment. They feel weak and powerless on their own. Covert narc neighbors are cowardly. They are non-confrontational. They will never discuss whatever the issue is they have with you. But they will be passive aggressive. This is a coping mechanism or a defense mechanism which they learned in childhood. It is an adaptation to their parents' aggressive and controlling behavior. If they try to talk to their parent, it will be twisted around and used as ammunition to abuse them even more. So from a very young age, Covert narc neighbors have learned to avoid confrontation. But all of that aggression has to come out at some point. So they develop these passive aggressive coping mechanisms and defense mechanisms to deal with their aggression. I'm going to give you some examples of what I deal with from my local group of narc neighbors. Maybe who have experienced something similar. Loud banging noises to sensitize you to sound. The noises will become quieter over time once they believe you are sensitive to the sound. Tapping noises on the wall or ceiling. These noises can follow you around your home. Loud engine noise from modified cars which do laps around your home. Car horns. Loud music from cars or homes. Shouting or talking if they are near your window. The talking will be intentional and usually refer to you in some way. People waiting outside your home ready to walk towards you as an, uh, an act of intimidation. They will often be walking or driving towards you as you are going out. As you are walking home, they will time themselves so that they can walk or drive out at the same time as you are coming in. They want to be seen. People ringing your bell or knocking your door and then leaving. 
cold calling with no specific purpose, false accusations, cars with specific colour coding, sometimes the colour of the car will match the colour of a person walking across the street. This is designed to alert you and make you wonder if it's a coincidence or how could they time it at that exact moment. It's designed to sensitize you to those colors and behaviors so that you will overanalyze anything you see later on. For more information on color coding, please do a YouTube search. It is mostly related to gang stalking. I have experienced all of these bizarre behaviors, abusive and manipulative tactics all day every day for the past two and a half years. It becomes an obsession to them, an addiction. Each time they do it, they get a sense of reward as the dopamine neurotransmitter releases within their brains. You may wonder how they don't feel any guilt or shame when they do these things. I'm sure they did feel plenty of guilt and shame in the beginning, but over time they became desensitized as they normalized the behavior. Their brains become more calculative and predatory as it realized that the feeling of guilt is no longer necessary in this environment. But it's different with shame. It's not as easy to get rid of shame. So each and every negative action of theirs is still producing the shame within them. The shame grows and gradually takes over their lives while they do everything they can to avoid feeling that way. It never goes away. As for overt narc neighbors, I don't really have much information on this as all of my narc neighbors are covert cowards. But the knowledge I do have is that overt narc neighbors will never actually want to deal with the issue. They will make accusations often based on their own weak emotions and fragile egos. They will use confrontations and conversations as an opportunity to emotionally abuse you. Sometimes they can become violent or cause physical damage to your property. So please be careful. For some visual examples of overt narc, na narc neighbors or overt gang stalkers, please search gang stalking Australia on YouTube. Why do narc neighbors engage in all of these bizarre behaviors? As I said before, it is a coping mechanism and a defense mechanism. It is an adaptation to the hostile, env hostile environment they experienced in childhood. You may not have done anything wrong. This behavior has more to do with them than it does to do with you. Narc neighbors are hateful, angry, envious, and jealous. They can be envious and jealous of almost anything. Your home, your car, your family. They have to be the best of everything in the neighborhood. If any aspect of your life dares to outshine them, it will cause a narcissistic injury. They will have it in for you from that point. They will spread rumors about you, enforce fly monkeys and create a smear campaign. Narcissists are emotionally immature toddlers. 
they never learned how to resolve conflict using the correct official and established procedure and that's why they stay stuck in this childlike but childlike behavior for the rest of their lives they never take responsibility or account for actions they never learn from their mistakes or faults which means that they can never grow Don't let the narc neighbors get to you. From their bizarre behaviors, you should realize that they are more miserable than you could ever be. Pay attention to the emotions behind what they are doing. Pay attention to what emotion is making them do what they do. Intense hatred, anger, envy, and jealousy. They feel insecure and inferior to you. They feel powerless and out of control. And any time you present yourself to them, it triggers all of these emotions. They see you as this person with high self-esteem, high self-worth and self-belief. The exact opposite of them. So of course they are going to hate. Of course they are going to be angry. Of course they are going to be envious and jealous of you. And these emotions are what drives their behavior.